Hi, good afternoon or good afternoon. Uh, really glad that you guys are able to join us today on a Thursday afternoon. Yep, uh, raining. <laughs> Hope you had actually have a, a good lunch. Uh, okay, uh, today we we'll actually be having our career webinar here. So I'm really glad that uh, you guys are able to join. Um, to, who we, we actually have three uh, uh, um, speakers here today with us. Okay, so uh, I'd like to introduce the uh, three uh, a person who will be speaking to you today or be sharing. Maybe we, we like to keep this a very more uh, lighthearted uh, session. So if you know, along the way, if you have any you know, questions like a burning questions you'd like to ask, you know, do feel free to type it in the chat. If not, you know, at the end of the session, we actually have a Q&A segment where you can actually feel free to you know, unmute yourself, then you know, just voice out your questions. If not, uh, you can actually have a dialogue as well if you want to. Okay. Um, so uh, just to share with you today, um, who we have today with us is actually uh, with Miling. Uh, she's actually our head of department for Philip Capital uh, Partnership. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, Claudia. She's actually a very experienced uh, financial services director with Philip Capital as well. Uh, the topic we have today is actually time to realize your full potential. So you will you will get to know why we actually chose this topic later. Okay. And of course, me, uh, Joshua, I'm here to actually uh, facilitate and then to share a little bit more about Philip Capital as well. So, you know, today uh, I briefly shared a bit about us to, 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 the, or to the group here today. So I also like to love, know uh, about the lovely group here today. You know, uh, where are you actually from? So I'd like to actually maybe uh, launch a, a very simple poll. Okay, to see, you know, uh, where are you guys from so that we understand a little bit more about your background so that we are able to, you know, uh, 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 speak something which is more relevant to you as well along the way. Yeah, so maybe we can launch our poll to see uh, where, where are you, uh, where's the lovely audience here today from? Able to see my poll? Sorry, give me a, a little bit, uh, some more time. Is it launch close uh collision? Okay, uh no mind, I launch. Okay, able to see the poll? No. Nope. Yeah. Is it launched? Yeah, it launch. So help us to answer the questions in front of you, uh, participants, and some of you who might join the session through your uh, handphone, you will be able to see a pop-up window. So help us to answer what is your current role now. Uh, single choice. Uh, okay, I have seen some participations. Uh, some of you click. Yeah, yeah, I see some of you participated. Uh, thank you for your participations. So, yeah. Just click, you know, uh, what's your choice? Some of you are uh, already in the financial industry. Some of you, you know, just want to explore here to find out more. So have us to click the answer. Yeah, let's wait for uh, 10 more seconds <laughs> for some of you to, to choose your option. Do we have many bankers here or ex-bankers? RM? Uh, you know, there is a uh, one of our option. Yep, two more sec, three more, three, two, one. Okay, I will end the poll and share the result as well. Yeah. So, are you able to see the result? I, think. Uh, I can, I can. So maybe if, uh, just in case that uh, you, you can't, uh, the audience can't see, uh, we have a majority of us from the non-financial industry and we have about like 20% each for our financial services uh, from FA firm and Thai agency. So welcome, welcome all today. Uh, I'm sure that we'll be able to touch on topics uh, that's actually relevant to each of the segments here today as well. So um, maybe let me pass this over to Miling first, our head of partnership, to actually share a little bit more about Philip Capital. Milling to you. Yep. Uh, thank you, Joshua. Able to hear me clearly. Okay, that's great. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, all. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. So, for start, we choose this hour because we understand that particularly some of our uh, existing practitioner, uh, you are actually. So, this will be the timing for us to reach out to you. 
Yes. So for start, um, I'll cover more about uh, Felix Securities introductions to the company, our products, as well as our business model. And then Joshua will cover more about the uh, the support, the platform support that we have, the infrastructure, at the same time, our branding and marketing. And then uh, Claudia, very successful financial services director, who uh, share with us the real practical knowledge you know, uh, with us here today. So, okay, when we talk about Philip Capital, I mean, some of you uh, who have heard about us before, this is not a new name. I think it's a uh, it's it's it, we have been here for very long and in fact more than 45 years so i believe many of you might have known us as a stock broking firm click capital old poems because when i talk to some of my ex colleagues uh, where are you at now i'm working in philip capital is it poems yes so many of you have known us as poems because all, we are the first one in singapore to launch online trading platform so there's a philip electronic mart uh, system. Okay. Yes, we started as a stockbroking firm, but we are more than just a stockbroking firm now. We are an integrated financial house with a global presence. Uh, I believe uh, many of you might have uh, seen our platform before, uh, in which you are able to trade more than uh, 26 uh, exchanges. So not just Singapore market, you have access to global markets as well. We have presence in more than 15 countries. We own life insurance company in Thailand, that's Philip Life. Uh, we own a bank in Cambodia, that's Philip Bank. So we have a uh, stockbroking firm uh, around the world. We have um, uh, you know, stockbroking firm in Turkey, in Hong Kong. Yeah. So it's a global company. And in terms of product, we own the, uh, okay, uh, not just the exchanges, uh, we carry more than 2,000 uh, unit trusts. We partners with many uh, fund houses uh, to bring you to bring our clients more than 2,000 unit trust. In terms of insurance and protection partners, we partner with more than 35 insurance partners. So in total, uh, we carry more than uh, 40,000 financial products. So with such a wide range of financial products available, your job will be very important here. Your function will be very important here because you are here to curate products to curate correct products portfolio for your clients. At the same time, you are able to be client centric. So if you are representing only one company, one product, if your shop only sell copy or oh, just copy or kosong, you are not selling by law, probably you will not be able to provide your clients what they have. But with a wide range of product selections, you are able to provide what is best for your client. So you can also compare for them. Okay, so when I talk about global presence, I'll give you an example. So um, I used to be a branch manager and I have onboarded clients from Papua New Guinea before. Interesting. We also have clients from South Africa and different parts of the world. So this is a platform that um, we, we allow our brokers, our consultant to onboard clients online and efficiently. So your business is not just local Singapore business. Your business will be a global business. So our consultant will have your unique URL, which means you, have, you need a link for you to onboard client efficiently. Later, we'll share with you more about our uh, unique URL. But uh, generally, for Singapore, I believe many of you have seen our investor center before. Okay, and this is unique to us because I believe not many of you have seen I uh, FA firm with a branch, uh, a lot of branches across Singapore. Yeah, in fact, we have 14 uh, Philly investor centers across Singapore. And out of 14 of them, four of them are our franchisee. Yes, you are right. You can franchise our investor center. Our consultant can franchise our investor centers. This will be this tree that you see on the screen, the three bunches here, Westgate, Taising, and Bukit Tipa. So they are our franchisee, which means uh, they are operated by our contractual portfolio manager and contractual 
stock poker. Okay. So what does it mean to you? Uh, this means that, you know, your business opportunities over here, there is a potential, growth potential. So this is how you can run your business. It's not just about financial planning, financial advisory. Eventually, there is a growth potential for your business as a consultant here. Okay, now we understand a little bit about your know your your presence your global presence the company the pic how about the products what are the products that you know we can sell you talk about a company the brand name how about the products you know so let me uh explain a little bit about the products that we carry so generally uh when you talk about financial products uh it we I've divided, we have divided them into three categories based on the trust quantum. That means as your client, when you first onboard clients, probably your client, you know, you are my broker, you are my consultant. I want to try out if you are good first. So there will be lower trust quantum. But subsequently, as you are doing better, uh, you handhold your clients, help them with their financial services and queries, help them to customize the portfolio, help them to grow their money, help them with their protection needs. So over time, you'll be able to gain trust from your client. Therefore, the quantum of trust will be higher. As the quantum of trust will be higher, you'll be able to offer more products with discretionary basis. Yeah. So these are all the products that we, these are the range of products that we carry. Yeah. So when you first onboard client that I mentioned just now, you'll be more of transactional. Transactional examples of product under transactional will be stock and share, uh, trading, margin account, even money market fund. So um, I'll give an example. Of course, uh, when we talk about poems, that means if you are with Philip Securities, indirectly, you are the owner of the poems platform. And in fact, Points platform can be a door opener for you to talk to any clients. People are generally interested in the topic of investment. People are generally interested to talk about a market. So it'll be your door opener for you. But of course, for a start, uh, if this is not your one leads, you'll probably be a transactional basis. Uh, but transactional can be passive income as well. But however, as your clients know you better, uh, more interaction, more inquiries, you'll be able to provide financial advisory service to your client. So the trust quantum uh, increase higher over time. And subsequently, you'll be able to provide holistic financial planning. That means you talk to your client, not just about stock and share, about the market. You talk to your client about other needs, legacy planning, protection needs, investment, uh, you know, different type of investment, how should I allocate my portfolio, and of course, retirement as well. And subsequently, as the trust quantum build, build up, the highest trust quantum, uh, you'll be able to provide the discretionary services. So what are discretionary services? That means, um, you will be on you onboard your client and subsequently you decide on a portfolio and rebalancing on a portfolio. So that is the highest level of trust quantum. So an example will be your client who have, for example, a so house, so their house, and then they took profit for their house, and there's a lump sum coming. Uh, they will part one lump sum with you for you to construct investment portfolios for them. And of course, you get to decide the constructions of the portfolio. You get to rebalance on regular basis. And that will be our managed account, customized managed account services. Okay, so these are the multi-product. Okay, uh, over here, what you see on the screen are our life insurance and general insurance uh, business partners. So we carry product uh, providers by these business partners. And these are our Unitrust uh, fund houses, Unitrust business partners. So we carry uh, Unitrust or mutual funds provided by these fund houses. Okay, now you get to understand more about products. We know the brand name, the products. How about the business model? Okay, with the multi products comes multi licenses. And this is very interesting. Uh, because uh, typically when you join an 
FA firm or IFA firm uh, generally is straightforward. I will be getting my FA license. However, over here in Philips Securities, candidate can join us under three main licenses and you can combine the licenses. Let me talk about the three licenses first. You can join us as a TR, trading representative, in which will facilitate your client's trading needs. That means you assist your client with transaction. You answer call, you key trade into the system. But of course, uh, you have a lot of competitors out there, particularly for trading representative, because some of robot can do the work, can do the trading, they can key in themselves. So that's why the consultant, financial advisory consultant role uh, has increased the importance, particularly for high net worth clients. So as FAC consultant, you provide holistic financial planning to advise clients on protection and of course, uh, asset accumulations, uh, retirement needs. So you talk about more things, not just you know trading, stock booking. You talk about stocks too. You talk about investment. You talk about unit trust, retirement. So you help your client to construct their investment needs. You help them with trust. And if your client is Tauke, and Claudia will be able to share more as well, key main insurance and all this. Yeah, so that those will be under the financial advisory consultant license. And subsequently, under portfolio manager license. Okay, this could be something new to many of you because when we talk about portfolio manager, that means fund manager. You only trust fund managers. That's right. So portfolio manager, in order to be a portfolio manager, you need to hold fund management license. You'll be called contextual portfolio manager in our term. But well, what you do is you construct a portfolio at a cost. That means you make investment decisions. You manage clients' money through discretionary services. Yeah. So over here in Philip uh, Capital, multi-licenses, uh, multi-license is possible, like I mentioned just now. You are able to combine licenses. But for now, it's up to dual license. I don't think you can do so many things at the same time, right? So you can be FATR, you can be FAPM. And of course, we have a structure to support TRPM as well. So for FATR, you'll be well managers, which means you can talk about stock working, you can execute trade at the same time, you can provide financial advisory uh, services. Yeah. And as uh, FAPM, which is something very new to the market, in fact, we are the first one uh, to launch this FAPM license. So you are financial advisory consultant, you can talk about protection, retirement, uh, investment portfolio construction. At the same time, you are fund manager. You are a portfolio manager. You can manage your client's money through discretionary services. That means you execute trade. Yeah? You buy stock and share for your client. You construct portfolio. You decide what to buy, what not to buy. You decide when to rebalance, what stock to sell. You don't want Apple anymore. You prefer Microsoft. Yeah, you make the decision because you are the portfolio manager. Yeah. So, and of course, some of you who are industry players just now, we have seen the, quite a lot of um, existing uh, market practitioner. So, your practitioner, FA is something uh, not new to you, you really know. But uh, what you can do over here in Philip Securities is can act on either TR or PM license. Okay. Yeah. So, the, we talk about the multi product multi-licenses, and of course, with your multi-products, a wide range of multi-products, uh, different licenses come with multiple sources of income as well. For protectional, it's only to explain more, generally as a TR, under the transactional business, your income can be both active and recurring. So some of them ask me, why active? Because I added in recurring. The original slide, you only have active. Uh, why is that so uh, transactional? As a TR, you, you still have to, you to, you have to be in front of the platform and you have to look at the market, right? So it's considered active. But if you are sleeping at night, but your clients use our pl Poems platform to track Apple share, to track Microsoft uh, shares, uh, so you get a kind of mortgage, regardless of your license. If you are TR, you'll be getting more. If you are FSC, you'll be getting less for transactional. But of course, uh, being well, you'll be building your AUC and AUM. 
uh, with AUM, you'll be able to share uh, the recurring income from AUM, the management fees. Yeah. So for advisory, straightforward. Your first year income uh, from your protection plans uh, or from your AUM, your first year income, will be considered active because you need to meet your client, you need to talk to them, either online and offline. We have a method, most of our platforms, in fact, most of our transaction, our KYC form, our personal financial review forms are online. So we are we are considered very high tech, right? We are the first one in Singapore to launch poems. So yes. Uh, you can do your business online or offline. Both are possible. But because of this active meeting clients, I call it active income for first year. Uh, the same if you, first time you meet your client, you'll be considered best active income. But subsequently, as you build out your AUM, second year income from your protection plans, those will be considered recurring income, passive income. And I believe this is what everybody is very interested in because you want to spend more time with your family members. You want to spend more time volunteering, doing what you like. Yeah. So of course, how I have to come first before you enjoy uh, passive income or recurring income. Fair, right? It's a fair number. Okay. However, uh, the passive income, not just from second year onwards, and of course, as some of us are aware, uh, not just second year and third year and fourth year depends on the plan and of course depends on uh, the AUM the portfolio AUM that you construct for your clients okay the same for discretionary services if your portfolio manager as you earn money for your client your client's portfolio grow from 500,000 to 1 million over time some of you who know market very well you know that over time because of inflation because of human advancement technology over time stock market will move in the uptrend over long term you move in the uptrend and this is why AUM business is sustainable because your AUM your client's AUM will go because of the power compound interest as well. So as your income through the AUM business. Okay, so now we talk about income. I have examples here. I do example. The first example, so these are real example, real cases. Uh, the, this, uh, the first example, right, is the consultant who started as a broker, uh, TR, then took up the FA license somewhere in 2016 to be dual license. After taking up FA license, he worked very hard uh, to build AUM business because he understand the power of AUM. AUM means uh, the portfolio is under your custody. But when we talk about AUC, some of you who understand stocks, your stocks are not part with us. Your stocks are part with uh, CDP. Even for foreign share AUC, uh, there is no annual management fee for you to talk about. Yeah. So as you work hard, uh, he built this uh, AUM business and you can see over time, the percentage of passive income increased a lot. So for the first few years, he worked harder, pay lesser, but for the next, the subsequent years, he worked lesser, he was paid higher in terms of passive income. Yeah. So another example that I have over here is uh, Mr. Lim's examples. The numbers, uh, we have IRAs, we have checked the IRAs number, the numbers are real IRAs number. So Mr. Lim started, um, when Mr. Lim first joined us in the, I think he started mid of the year. So the first year income is uh, less than uh, 30K. Yeah, but subsequently, uh, as he built up in AUN and of course, not just uh, first year income, because your income will consist of first year income. Your first year, your first year, your income is only consists of first year income, but from your second years on what your income is not just first year, your incomes also include the recurring income from uh, cases that you closed previous year. So if you look at the example over here, uh, Mr. Lin's income has increased from 22K per year in his first year to 447,000 per year within five years of joining us. And of course, uh, he has been able to maintain above this level. Uh, 
we want to look at the first pie here, but of course, um, we can show you uh, examples. But of course, generally, uh, these are IRAS validated number, and these are the growth potential, the earning potential that uh, you can have, you know, uh, if you join us. So the earning potential is high. And we have the correct products, like I mentioned just now, multiple products and multiple licenses, as well as the platforms, the platform and process. Yeah, as the foundation for you to grow your business. So, okay, I've shared about the multi-products, multi-licenses, as well as the multiple sources of income. I will pass to Joshua, our senior uh, manager from partnership department to share with all of you more about our infrastructure support and uh, our marketing effort to support our consultants. Over to you, Joshua. Yep. Thank you so much, Miling. Thanks. Uh, able to hear me? Good, yeah. Able to see my screen as well. Lily, I hope that you're able to hear me as well and <laughs> able to see the screen. Um, so, um, okay. Uh, thank you, Miling, for sharing with us, you know, the business structure of Philip. So, after knowing the business structure of this industry and then uh, the, the company as well, uh, what was actually the services uh, that was actually provided, uh, right now, I would like to actually share a little bit more or dwell a little bit more into, you know, what, is the company, what is Philip actually supporting and providing for to actually empower our you know, advisors to join us to actually you know, run their business? So we developed this um, CRM, what I would call a client relationship management ecosystem. Okay, because we have such a wide spectrum of services, right? It's very difficult to actually uh, monitor, manage your, your clients uh, throughout the years when you actually accumulate more and more clients along the way. So we realized this as well. So that's why we came up with this. So what is our CRM system all about? Okay, uh, maybe let me share. Traditionally, uh, we, we have this philosophy of marketing funnel. So philosoph uh, traditionally in the market, uh, what is actually known uh, when you start a funnel is actually it comes in as a lead. So for those uh, non-financial uh, uh, friends over here, uh, bear with me for a while because this is more of a, a common, a very common sales funnel. And those who are actually experienced, you will know that you know, this actually starts from a lead, the sales funnel. So it starts from a lead, okay? Then you know, we try to close this lead to become our client. And then we, we also want to make our clients become our you know, promoters, what we call our referrals. They will actually refer their, their network to us as well. So in Philip, we would like to go further up, in, uh, back into the funnel. And it starts with, uh, we like to go further up and to start with strangers. Okay? Uh, because all, all, of, uh, all of the clients out there, they're actually potential clients to us. So we start with a stranger. Then we like to bring them to visit us. Visitors. So after becoming from, from a stranger to a visitor, right now, what we want to do is to make them or to develop them into a qualified lead instead of a co-lead where we usually are exposed to as well. So what does this ecosystem do or uh, is designed to help our, uh, our advisors here? Okay, it does four functions. The first function is attraction. Okay, it helps to attract stranger to become visitors. Okay. Then after that, it helps to convert from a visitor to a qualified lead. So right now, it's very important. Now, now there are qualified filtered leads. Okay, So from a filtered lead, we will close them. And we do not stop here. We do not stop here. We will actually want to delight them to become promoters so that they can actually you know, uh, uh, spread the news of you and your services to the network. That's very important. And this is a cycle. This is not an a, a entire process because a process ends here. A cycle will actually go back into the entire funnel where they actually do referrals and then go through the entire sales process again. So you'll be thinking, hey, Joshua, this is just theoretical, how are you going to help me in my business to actually go through this entire thing? Okay, so what do we do? In terms of attraction, okay, uh, in the market, there's a lot of social media ads. We, of course, uh, we'll be silly if you're not in this presence, okay? But what we usually see, social media ads, good and bad, you know, recent times, uh, I myself do notice a lot of uh, ad fatigue as well because it's very direct product placement ads uh, right in front of me, okay? Uh, so later, we'll show you how we actually utilize and capitalize on social media to showcase 
and profile our advisors in, instead of blatantly showing uh, sales ads right in front of you, which might actually result in ad fatigue. Okay, uh, and on top of that, to add on to social media presence, uh, uh, we have actually integrated webinars, sales webinars, okay, uh, very frequent ones and regular ones. And we also have market journals to help you to attract strangers to become visitors to visit us and visit you, more importantly. Uh, we also have, you know, this uh, finance fit, which is actually a, you know, integrated financial health assessment tool for potential clients to do a check on their current financial health. Okay, so once they do a check, it will actually be directed to you. Okay, a TTP page. Sorry, there's a lot of acronyms here. So uh, let me let me let me uh, uh, explain a little bit more. TTP page is actually a talk to Philip page. It is actually a digital name card, and more importantly, right, it is a online platform where advisors can get direct account opening, product order placement, where customers can choose to go digital using the advisor's unique page link. So the sale go directly to the advisor twenty four seven. It's not restricted to your working hours anymore. So traditionally, when company you know invest in such a infrastructure, online infrastructure and all, uh, as a if I'm a businessman, if I'm a company, I would try to divert it away from my advisors. But in Philip, we do it the reverse. When we invest in such an infrastructure, we divert the traffic to the advisor, to, to the advisor's unique link. So the advisors get the direct sale. Okay. So this is what we have done so far. On, uh, in terms of uh, to add on to the social media presence. And of course, internally, we have this Match Me program. So, but as, 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 as the name suggests, right, we, because we have a huge uh, clientele base, so, uh, and we have a huge spectrum and a very wide spectrum of services. So not all advisors do practice everything and all. So, you know, but then clients have a very wide range of needs. So when they actually have these needs, right, we will actually match the advisor will match himself and then to actually expand to 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 uh to actually uh introduce the clients to other uh, uh more well equipped or more well uh, experienced advisors as well. So this is how we actually match internally as an internal program. Okay. Um so we, we do have you know uh, other things that we can actually do in terms of convert. So our our financial assessment to our Talk to Philip page, it also helps to convert uh, the visitor into a lead because they do account opening, they do direct sale order there. So you actually capture them. Okay. Um, so digital modules are actually put in place, be it face-to-face -face or online. So in terms of closing, right, uh, we have put in place closing or, uh, modules as well. So, you know, we are able to uh, 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 cap capitalize both online and offline by using digital uh, modules as well. And in terms of delight, Okay, we have apps to keep customers updated on their portfolio and more importantly, right, to help advisors to carry out their servicing function, which means after sales care, we do, not, we do fantastic after sales care and services as well. But this key thing that I'm going to introduce late now, right now, the lead management module, this is the key module. This gels everything that you see over here together. It helps advisors, be it new to industry or be it experienced advisors, to be guided and be aware of uh, where your clients are in the particular sales stage, okay? To keep track of their individual needs and your individual contacts in the funnel. So it actually helps you to know what to do at each particular stage and not blindly just, you know, keep on doing sales pitch and sales talk there's a different function at each at every stage. So it helps you to be very clear, to have clarity, to have roadmap of what to do. Okay, this is a very powerful module because it helps advisors to be very organized and focused because it integrates all the modules together. And most importantly, it helps to give your client a very pleasant experience when they're actually dealing with you. Okay. But of course, everything comes with, you know, you need to have certain competency to deliver uh, this kind of experience to your clients. So we have not forgotten that. We have this CQ Academy, which is also our training app. This is incorporated into uh, the entire funnel to actually uh, help to pick up relevant gaps in your delivery and performance. What do I mean by that? Because, you know, when, when, when things don't go right, a lot of uh, people just tell you, go and do training. What kind of training, okay? You do not know which area or not you are not doing well. So this entire system picks up the lacking area, the gaps that you have to help you be more targeted in your training to actually, you know, cover up the, 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 the gap, you know, be it, it could be a conversion skill, you know, if it's a conversion issue, don't kill and keep on practicing and get training in closing skills, you know. If it's a closing issue, don't keep on 
training on conversion skills. So it picks up the gaps here. So this is the entire ecosystem that we have. Okay, so this shows, so that explains the entire funnel and how we actually help to support our advisors. So this shows you know, all the modules that Philip has actually developed for advisors to use accordingly as well. So, you know, at one glance, these are all the, all the apps. And, you know, uh, for advisors, this is the app that you can actually at one glance know what your, your, your customers have. Okay, and we will not forget our customers as well. With the, for our clients, they actually have direct access to a portfolio uh, with us as well. So they can also you know, go in to do a self-check. So this is all the things that we try to automate and most importantly, to integrate a very a pleasant experience for you as a sales, as, a, as your sales process and flow and more importantly for the client as well. Okay, so um, on top of the infrastructure that we actually supported, our company has also uh, helped or, or, or empower to help an, uh, uh, our advisors in terms of their branding and marketing capacity. So at a company and corporate level and capacity, right, we will do up all these videos for our advisors to be placed on the media platforms that I've actually mentioned earlier. Okay, so the key takeaway here is advisors, uh, I say again, uh, advisors do not need to engage production house on their own to do this. They do not need to do that. Okay, it's very, very rare in this industry that company will do this for advisors. So uh, it helps to showcase and profile advisors, right, com uh, from a company's main social media platform and pitch. So advisors, what they need to do, of course, is to shoot the video. But of course, what they need to do thereafter, okay, is to share it out from, uh, from the main page. Okay, advisors don't have to create and produce and then, you know, self-post, huh? Very funny one, you, you, you produce and everything, then you self-post from your own page. So the positioning is very much stronger and better. But more importantly, right, in this day and time, uh, it helps to serve as a social resume for our, for our advisors, okay? Because it's inevitable, okay? Nowadays, when people meet you, they'll go back, they'll search for you. Definitely, if you, you, know, you put yourself in their shoes, they go back and search for you. If you're not searchable, on Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, or TikTok, or the materials that they find is not positioning you in a very good light, it might not, it might not serve the complete picture as well, okay? So, um, so, my question back to you, are you searchable? So, just now I did mention the TTP page, it's called our Talk to Philip page, okay? It's a digital name card, we actually profiles our, our, our advisors, Okay, their contact, you know, how well experienced they are, the client testimonials that they've given to them. Because in this day and age, you know, uh, i give you an example. If you want to book a hotel, our passing mark last time was 50%. But right now, if the hotel rating is uh, less than 2.5, I don't think you actually book it. You go, you know, somewhere 4, 5 and all. So review is very important. Same goes for, you know, client's testimonial. When client gives us a testimonial, it's a very powerful statement to our positioning and what we have done. Okay. So these are all the things that we also, you know, uh, it also shows, you know, uh, the, the kind of services that you can provide, the kinds of accounts that you can, they can actually open with you directly as well. Okay. So my question back to you now, okay. Are you ready for, for new ways of doing things? Okay. Or, you know, uh, because always we will not open new doors. Uh, in Philip, we've actually created a lot of different structure, platform and support for advisors to actually embark on, 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 on a very new journey over here. So uh, I do have a lot more to share uh, because we have a very wide range of uh, solutioning. But I would like to uh, maybe keep this within an hour as well. Uh, and we have a very experienced director with us today, which is Claudia. And uh, I would love for me and us and, and, and the audience today right, to pick on her brains as much as we can today. So uh, I would like to briefly maybe uh, introduce a little bit about Claudia. Okay, uh, she's actually with Philip Capital for the past two decades, although she don't like, look like it, but for the past two decades, okay. Uh, she's very well qualified with uh, BBA, AEPP, STEP, okay. Uh, multiple uh, industry accolades, uh, multiple MDRT, Court of Table. Uh, for those who don't know, it's actually a, a, a very top uh, award in this industry. Okay, she is also leading her own team uh, 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 of, of advisors as well. So uh, a brief description, apart from doing, you know, top-notch holistic planning, which is, you know, wealth accumulation, uh, production planning, uh, retirement planning, it could be estate planning. In her line of business, right, she is one of the rare and uncommon few practitioners who chose to embark on a very niche path, which is called 
business planning or solution planning, which involves things like key man, uh, key man, key man uh, product, buy sell agreement, and all. Because Claudia sees a huge market and opportunity for business and growth. So uh, I, I will not say too much. Maybe let's welcome Claudia to introduce herself more in details. Uh, Claudia, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, hi, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Miling. Thank you, Joshua, for introducing me. I am in this uh, financial industry for about 20 years. Um, focusing on various products which are um, available under Philips Securities platform. Uh, this includes investment, personal insurance, as well as commercial insurance. Majority of my client base are professionals like um, lecturer, director of company, and also business owner. As you can see below my email detail from the slides, I am STEP qualified. You might be wondering what does STEP mean? Eh? It's a qualification for the Society of Trust and Estate Practitioner. In another word, um, besides providing above services to my client, I am also a qualified estate planner um, to advise my client on estate planning and also legacy planning. Thank you, Claudia, for the uh, description, for the introduction for herself. So I understand that you have actually, uh, uh, you chose a, a additional path in your line of business in terms of business solutioning and all. So, you know, some of, uh, we have, just now we did a poll, you know, uh, most of our audience here are from non-financial industry. So maybe, could you maybe like uh, share a little bit more, you know, uh, what is this thing called a buy-sell agreement? Okay. A uh, buy-sell agreement is also known in the industry called shareholder agreement. It is a piece of legally binding contract that stipulates how a partner's share of a company may be sold to the remaining partner or shareholder at an agreed and predetermined value. Um, for example, today, if you own 30% share in a company called Claudia Private Limited, and you strongly believe that this 30% of share worth um, 1 million Singapore dollar. Upon your demise, you would like to give all the shares to your wife. And if she doesn't want to continue the business, she can sell the share at 1 million. So assuming your wife doesn't know how to run the business and she decided to sell the share to the remaining shareholder. There will be a few questions. So number one, which shareholder do you think has immediate cash of 1 million to buy your share? If one of the shareholder has ready cash of 1 million, what makes you think that this shareholder agree with your valuation of 1 million? And have you ever discussed this topic with the rest of shareholder? If yes, did you make it an official agreement? So buy, sell, it essentially is an exit plan that all business owners should have in mind. Okay, thank you. I think it gives a lot of insight, um, especially for those of us who, who, don't, who are not business owners and all. Um, so I also know that, you know, in this industry, there's, uh, 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 because I work with you, yeah. <laughs> so I also know that you also do key man insurance. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so key man is not the, the people who do keys, right? So, so what, what, what do you <laughs> no. think is a, a key man insurance? So, what is ins a key man insurance in simple terms? Okay. Um, key man uh, insurance is an insurance plan that any company buy for the life of their key personnel. This key personnel can be the owner or director of the company or the top salesperson of the company. Such insurance is needed if that person's death would be devastating to the future of the company. So for example, the top salesperson of your company contributed to about maybe 70% of their total yearly revenue, which maybe amount to $7 million. If he passed on prematurely, he passed on suddenly, your company business will certainly be affected. It takes time to find a new salesperson or even you manage to get a replacement within six months. This salesperson will also need time to understand your business and build relationship with your customer. The whole process can be lengthy and the momentum to continue generating the 7 million 
the user shares uh, revenue will certainly be affected. So if your business is affected, your supplier who always offer you credit term will start to get worried. Bank who has been offering um, your company credit line may review and adjust the credit facility or even your own staff may start to worry about their next paycheck. So to mitigate all these risks, um, company can look into insurance policy which insured against the loss of the key talent. If that person passes away, the insurance payout will provide the liquidity to keep your business running. This will also assure creditor of a smooth transition so that credit lines are not impacted. Thank you. Thank you. So, so you mentioned just now, you know, uh, when a key, it could be a top sale, it could be the key personnel uh, for the company who contributed a lot to the company. So I think maybe Philip might need to buy a key man insurance on you as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Uh, so so this is one part that we can do to insure ourselves and um, we can also find people to, uh, uh, you know, succession from you as well. So, uh, so uh, yeah. another thing that I'd like to ask is, you know, uh, then who actually needs to, who needs the buy-sell agreement? Just like you say, uh, uh, you know, partners need to agree. And so is it all business owners will need to do a buy-sell agreement or what? Uh, yes, if you ask me, any business owner who wants to safeguard the rights and privilege of their business value needs a buy-sell agreement. It can be sole proprietor, partnership or shareholder in any private limited company. Be it a doctor who owns a clinic, maybe um, joint owner of a restaurant or even partnership in a tuition center, anyone. So businesses need this um, buy-sell agreement for the reason to maintain their business continuity, um, protect company's ownership, mitigate the chance of dispute, relieve stress from the partner and protect business owner and the business. Um, it is a business exit plan. So buy sell agreement ultimately um, elevate the concern over what happened if a partner leaves the business suddenly and or, or maybe retires. It is not a document you will refer to regularly, but it is um, it will offer a set of instruction if your I mean if the incident happened, anyone just leave without planning is actually um, bad and it will create disaster to the company. Okay, I, I see because it's a lot of business owner, business view and all. So, you know, as a as a financial advisor, you know, how what, what kind of value do you actually uh, 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 bring forth in the buy sell agreement and key man insurance for, for, for your clients so far? Sorry, I don't get you the last part, sorry. Okay, so because, you know, uh, what is the value of, you know, a financial advisor for buy sell agreement and key man insurance? You know? Uh, okay, F financial advisor is uh, someone who understands the financial impact, uh, be it to a person's life or to a business. Everything has risk, and the impact for some of the risks can be devastating. We highlight the risk and prepare an individual or business owner so that he or she can mitigate and minimize the risk. At the same time, we offer financial solution and funding mechanism since this is one of the very important factors in all circumstances. Um, and insurance payout can mean a lot to many people. It certainly provides more comfort than harm during um, a difficult time. So we financial advisor, we cannot draft visor agreement for any business owner. We also cannot find headcount replacement if any business owner come to you and says that um, uh, I, I lost my salesman, can you help me find one? I, I don't think we have the expert, uh, expertise for that. But we can help business owner to plan in advance and have smooth transition. This will lead to um, time saving and it's also cost saving eventually. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I went off script. Uh, so she was like, uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> So, you know, uh, I think what I would like to ask next is, you know, uh, there's a lot of talks about business owners, business owners. So, you know what, I think this is a key thing that people want to ask. So what are the uh, common questions when you interact with business owners that they have for you? Yeah. Every time when I 
see a business owner after I explain the, the, the whole reasoning behind and the benefit of having buy-sell agreement, they, they will usually ask me the, the standard five or six question. One of them is, isn't buy-sell agreement part of my business constitution? That means in their business uh, book, they thought everything is spelled out inside. Uh, the answer is no, of course. I will usually lead them and ask them to bring out that business constitution and refer to it. They certainly cannot find any answer to that buy-sell arrangement. And the next question they usually ask is, uh, who can help to prepare this buy-sell agreement? Since just now we say that financial advisor cannot do this. Of course, they will also ask, is there a lawyer with special knowledge in order to draft this or any, you know, any lawyer that I can find um, is able to draft this. And they will also ask, is Keyman Insurance um, tax deductible? Um, business owners are very sensitive to tax. Okay. And they will also ask me, who can evaluate and advise the value of my business? If I say that my, you know, my, my, my share, maybe the 30%, I say it worth 1 million, um, who is there to confirm? And they will also ask, what type of funding mechanism is available? Does it mean that I really have to take out every single cent from my bank to buy over the share or is there alternative? So, so these are the list of common questions which lead to many, many hours of discussion. Uh, so every time when I see business owner, I will usually spend minimum two to three hours on each um, session. And sometimes it, it could be a few times, five or six times is normal. Oh, okay, it's a very lengthy uh, um, engagement and all. Uh, thank you for really sharing selflessly. Uh, you know, uh, you know the insights of what are the common questions. So it's really, if I interpret it, it's really who can answer these questions, who will get a deal. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's just something like that. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. okay. <laughs> Get. Uh, I mean, we, uh, we are almost uh, out of time. So maybe I will stop here. Uh, uh, I would like to, uh, the, the the I would like to have the audience to uh, maybe ask you questions if they have uh, uh, any uh, you know, to to Claudia. Maybe let me check the let me check the chat. Is there any uh, is there any questions? Sorry. Uh, yes, I think uh Joshua, there's a question. Uh, they ask about the investment return. So uh, David, I think uh, let me clarify. So the the income that I showed just now, one of the slide, right? It is actually an example of five-year income, first five-year uh, income uh, generated by this particular FA. So it's just an example. It is not an investment return. So I hope that clarify uh, your question. Ken, I also saw, can you hear me? Yeah? Okay, I also saw Lily has a question. Uh, is any training provided to get this knowledge as an advisor? Uh, what kind of knowledge do you, uh, is it the common industry knowledge uh, or do you want the Claudia knowledge? <laughs> Claudia knowledge, uh, company cannot provide. Well, we can only give you the basics, the details, the mechanics. Claudia, uh, Claudia knowledge, only Claudia can provide. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, yeah, but then company do give you, you know, uh, 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 fundamental uh, 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 skills and knowledge to actually kickstart the business. Okay, what to expect and all uh, to really kickstart the business. But then uh, all this experience and knowledge that Claudia is sharing right now, right, uh, is for her to impart uh, to, 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 to those who actually uh, approach her and get to her. So uh, I, I can't comment on that. Claudia, can you comment on Would you like to comment on that? Um, I, I, I would like to say this. Uh, um, this knowledge uh, on the buy sell agreement, it will really help advisor if you are someone who are looking to grow your career path in this, uh, this area. Because buy-sell agreement is a very niche market. You have to master um, this knowledge and skill, okay? And, and bring this knowledge and skill, make the business owner understand. And then once they agree and they understand the idea, the case size that you're going to close certainly will be a lot, a lot bigger. You know, able to address the needs for individual client is certainly very good. But the need for individual is certainly a lot smaller as compared to a company. So, so if you are seriously looking for a long-term growth in um, this, this career path, 
then I think you should spend some time uh, uh, look into this area. This will be a, a wonderful gateway to business owners' portfolio, uh, be it business or individual courtesy. Because once you get this, anyone that you talk to, okay, is a potential. Because sometimes when people come to you, they don't tell you, I'm a business owner and I need buy sell agreement. In the first place, many business owners don't even know what is buy sell agreement. They thought it's the same thing. So it depends on what kind of career path as a financial advisor that uh, uh, that you want to that you want to embark. Yeah. So 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 this is the area whereby um, everyone should think about it. And and if you find that this area of knowledge uh, can help, uh, uh, I welcome you to you know uh, 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 contact me, uh, talk to me more, and then uh, I will share more certainly. Thank you, Claudia. Um... I'd like to uh, maybe clarify one thing. Uh, when I say Claudia has very good expertise on buy-sell agreement, this is not the only thing that she does. Uh. It's just, this is actually another line of business that she has. All the usual uh, uh, wealth accumulation, protection, estate planning, et cetera, et cetera. She knows and she's very well-versed in that as well. It's just that she has another line of business which is very niche to her. Okay, so I saw that Hans actually Hans Han actually has a, another question of how to start this business or career. What are the next steps? Thank you for your interest. Um, I, I think I will actually, uh, we will reach out to you or feel free to drop us an email as well. If not, we will definitely reach out to you to actually uh, uh, share with you how do we actually take the next step uh, forward uh, in this business and career as well. So really thank you for your, for your question, Hans. Uh, is there any more questions that we have from the audience? Okay. While you, while the audience actually, uh, what, what our friends here actually think of if there's anything they want to ask, uh, feel free to uh, uh, unmute your mic if you want to ask. Okay. Uh, I would also like to especially mention that you know Claudia here, um, with a wealth of experience and all, uh, she would like to open up this opportunity, uh, to mentor, uh, apprentice. But because it's a very, uh, in depth, sharing and mentoring and all, she. Uh, no, she, there's only one Claudia. So she has limited resources and time. So she can only uh, open this uh, to uh, three, three uh, 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 apprentices uh, uh, for, for, this, for this particular uh, phase. Okay. So, uh, so once the apprentice actually, you know, uh, kicks up, get, get into speed and all, she will, she will be able to have more time freed up for more apprentices and all, because all we want to learn from the master. Right? Okay, so uh, I, I think she gave me some criteria uh, that uh, she wants. Uh, the criteria is three criteria. Okay, uh, if you feel that you fulfill this criteria, do feel free to reach out to us. Okay, uh, uh, and you know, uh, the criteria is actually uh, you're willing, it's very simple criteria. Don't worry, yeah, you're willing to put in the hard work to learn the ropes of this piece of business. Okay, hard work to learn the ropes. Okay, uh, you are resilient enough. And the most important thing that she told me, you have to be a team player. So I repeat again, you need to be willing to put in the hard work to learn the ropes of her piece of business. Okay. You have to be resilient and you must, must be a team player. If you fulfill these three criteria, please feel free to reach out to us or to Claudia direct. Okay. If you reach out to us, we we'll link you to her direct. If you reach out to Claudia, we we'll, uh, I, I also be involved. Lah. I mean, I need, I need to help you to understand a little bit more of the company as well. Uh, so this is the three criteria. So uh, I saw another, I saw another question. Uh, are we able to start on a part-time basis as an advisor? Um, uh, yes, you may, you may, you may, you, you could. This could be one path because sometimes uh, we want our advisors to be very clear, you know, when they invest their time in this business as well. So, you know, sometimes you, some people need to uh, 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 understand a little bit more whether they're suitable or not. Yes, possibly. Yes. Any qualification to obtain? Uh, two types of qualification. Uh, I, I'm... It's actually 3.30, so, so those who actually want to uh, uh, exit, please feel free, no worries. Uh, you can actually contact us anytime. Uh, but uh, those who want to stay on, feel free to stay on. I will be here to answer your questions. Okay, so uh, any qualification to obtain, two types of qualification. First is academic, okay? Uh, minimum uh, A-level or Singapore local diploma, okay? Uh, uh, this uh, academic qualification. 
Uh, and the other one is actually a professional uh, uh, qualification, which is mandated by MAS. You need to uh, pass uh, three or four modules, depending on the license that you want to take. Yeah, so that's the very basic uh, 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 brief answer. If you want to find out more details, uh, we will be contacting you as well. Okay, uh, Sheila, uh, minimum academic qualifications. Oh, okay, uh, minimum uh, A-level or uh, local diploma. Okay, would you be able, from David, would you be able to take advisor residing in overseas? Oh, unfortunately, uh, not able to. At, at this moment of time, we would love to. We would love to, but uh, at this moment of time, unable. Welcome, Sheila. Welcome, much welcome. Okay. So um, we, we will still be taking any questions, uh, questions that you, you might have uh, over here. Feel free to unmute yourself if you want to uh, just... Not even a question, you want to just have a dialogue and everything. Uh, call this that time, right? Although you're very busy. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you want to have a dialogue and everything, you know, feel free to unmute your mic. We can actually chat for a while if you want to. We'll be here for the next five to ten minutes as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we also add on with uh because one of the questions was uh, asking about the training. So we'd like to assure everyone that on top, of course, are uh, the training and skill set that Claudia can share with uh her experience and of course uh, her expertise in the certain area of the business and in terms of basics, processes, basic product knowledge for the multi-products that we have, trainings will be provided. So we have structured training to teach you not just your basic skill, uh, I'm talking about hard skill, what are the process, platform, what are the products, what are the features, we also teach you soft skill. So we have this comprehensive one-month trainings for our new uh, advisors or new consultants. Yeah, and of course, uh, subsequently, you'll need someone, a mentor who can handhold you, who can support you along the way. So I, I don't think we can learn everything within one month. It's more of long-term mentorship. Yeah, that's how uh, with uh, many years of experience, Claudia will be able to mentor uh, who are interested to join her team. Thank you, Miling, for adding on as well. Uh, we are now at this page where you can actually see all our contact number. Uh, we have, of course, definitely Claudia's uh, contact number. We have mine and we have uh, Mealing's as well. Uh, feel free to reach out to any one of us because we can all link each other up as well. Uh, if you want to scan the QR code, there's a QR code on the slide here. There's a QR code on my background. You know, uh, It actually links direct to me as well. Uh, feel free to contact us. We'll be open to uh, uh, answer your queries and all. Okay. Uh, no one wants to unmute their mic to talk to us or me. Or, okay, never mind. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll be here. We'll still be here. Uh, open up for any chats, questions, and all. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one of the participants was saying that uh, you are late for the session. It's all right. The whole session is actually uh, recorded uh, to Facebook Live. If you're interested, you can scan a QR code in front of you to join our Facebook Live, Philip Wealth Advisory uh, Facebook page. Like our page, uh, at the same time, you can watch uh, the session again, the whole uh, webinar again to uh, Facebook. Yeah, I hope uh, that can be uh, useful for you, uh, Sheila. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, there's no more question for now. Uh, I think we can end the session. And then those sure. who are interested to contact us, they can either contact us directly or uh, through the email shown on the screen. Can thank you all, lovely participants uh, today. Thanks for saying uh throughout the entire session as well. Thank you so much. I think uh it was uh, very encouraging. Uh, we look forward to hearing uh from you uh to actually uh, uh explore more, and uh we love to actually you know have a chit chat or maybe a coffee session with you as well. So uh very good day. Enjoy your uh Thursday afternoon and all. So goodbye. Yeah. Thank Hope you everyone, you and thank you Claudia. Thank you Claudia. Uh, Joining today's sessions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank all. you everyone. Bye. Bye.